good, y'all. It's your boy Danton, man. We back with part two out of, I think, five or six on this whole R. Kelly, WAC 100, Tasha K situation and getting that appeal, getting out on the technicality, how y'all feel about it. What we're going to do is listen to a little bit of what we heard before, a little bit more, and he released even more No Jumper. So let's get into the content, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. In jail, the BOP officer A was illegally accessing all my phone calls and emails, and she was doing it for six whole months. Officer A, she also, she also scanned 12 pages of my restricted jail records. She tore off every corner of every page where the dates and times would have been. And then she sent it to her own personal Gmail account. Oh, that's where it went wrong. Right, that's exactly. But she didn't stop there. Officer A then sent all of my jail records to a blogger named Tasha K, who stated out of her own mouth that she shared my jail records with federal witnesses in my New York and Illinois case. She said it out of her own mouth, and it's out there on the podcast and everything. Now, Officer A violated policy and procedure, but... Once Tasha K sent those jail records of mine to federal witnesses, it became federal crimes. And Officer A became an accessory before the fact. Aided and abetted Officer, she aided and abetted Tasha K. Officer A provided the tools for Tasha K to commit the federal crime. Because Tasha K wouldn't have had my jail records to show federal witnesses yes. if Officer A didn't give them to her. Now, my question to you, uh, are is these things we talking about, <clears throat> yeah. do they have an effect on the charges that you have? Absolutely. Because in order to have charges, you have to have witnesses, right? Yep. Okay, so you can't have a, a witness up there that's been seen uh, six months worth of lovey-dovey conversations between you and your girlfriend. And the witnesses up there is your girlfriend too. And she's pissed off because she done seen all of this, this stuff that the BOP provided Tasha K with. Tasha K went and showed it to her, can't she? Nope, you're right. That's called a tainted witness, ain't it? Definitely. Where she wouldn't have seen those conversations and emails between me and my other other girlfriend. I mean, should I be in here 30 years because I was a, being a player? Nah, definitely not. I tell people that. I tell people all the time, I said, listen, every state got different um, laws. And whether it's just tasteful for your own for no reason, if the law stipulates the state that um, they can consent themselves at certain ages, that's just what that is. Like, yeah, yeah, that's the law. New York is 17, Jersey 16, Cali 18. I mean, different spots, different things. Yeah, yeah, every. This call is from a federal prison. But not one state. In America and nowhere else got a law that put somebody in jail because a witness is tainted and a girlfriend is mad or a guy's being a player because he got two girlfriends. No, and no, one no, we, no. And, and, and they shouldn't be on the stand. Okay, so I'm just going to finish it up and it's all good, but she ate it and abetted it. Okay, they, if, they, if they got you dead to the right or whatever, whatever they call it, then you shouldn't need a tainted witness that's been shown six months worth of jail records, you know. You don't need that. But that's what they needed, and that's what they did. And they um, knew this, so They knew this. Absolutely, because here's the deal, bro. Hell, I'm going to go off this paper. Hell with the paper. So here's the deal. <clears throat> 2019, this was reported. There was a search warrant done on this BOP officer. Hey, she was reported doing this in 2019. Now remember, I was in pre-trial. I hadn't even gone to trial. This lady was in, reported to the point that they did a search warrant on her computer, her laptop computer, and found out that she indeed did this. They found out that Tasha K indeed received this information from this BOP disciplinary hearing officer. This ain't just some uh, security guard. This is a disciplinary hearing officer, which is a, a judge in the Bureau of Prisons. She knew exactly what she was doing when she gave Tasha K 
this information. Tasha K knew what she was doing because she actually said it out of her mouth that she shared it with government witnesses in both my cases. And they did this prior to me even going to trial, which means I shouldn't even went to trial because my you girlfriend... Went to trial. Exactly, because my girlfriend who, who became the witness working with the government, she did it after she saw this information between me and another girl, bro. Now let's just keep this shit real, okay? This is common sense. This ain't nothing you gotta go to school for. Everybody know what a scorned woman is and somebody that's mad and will get up on the stand and say anything about you because they pissed off because they saw some lovey-dovey conversation between you and another woman. And they knew exactly what they was doing when they showed it to her because my girlfriend, this witness, was 90% of my case. Oh, yeah. So you see nah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah no, nah, I get it. They needed to sway her. Exactly. She was all with me for six months after I got arrested. She was all on Facebook saying she's with me. I remember her. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. So how in the hell within six months do she change like that? She came to my, um, if this hang up, I'm going to call you right back, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. So she came to my, my last visit, the last visit I saw her cursing me out saying she saw the emails between me and my girlfriend and she was pissed i was like how the in my head i was like how the hell she know that uh, you she know that? Quoting things i said and then she even said that she heard me talking to my lawyer on the phone don't lie i know your fucking voice i mean she snapped on the visit after that she left went and started a fight with my girl and then end up with the feds and then and the, 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 the cooperate and fabricate and say the shit that they and then, and, and then I didn't and I didn't uh I'm gonna call you right back it's gonna hang up hi for sure oh, exclusive yeah, let's get in this I could have ran this shit in any room bro no crazy listen man heavy is the head that carries the crown people always wonder why you know, people refer to me as unk and shit like that. But when you like in my position in my shoes, it ain't easy, bro. But when it's a natural thing and the general respect, I know when to wake up. I got this. Send this to the trenches. This is level. I got this. Let me let Stevie break this. I got this. Let me let Beast break it, You know, being able to delegate right just because that's what it's supposed to be. I can sit top left all day and just swallow all, all the water, all the sun. But I don't, I pass it. Because if you a real boss, you want to create bosses. Hey, yo, Wax, so let's get into Tasha K. The thing. The thing. How, did they, how did she know the federal agent? How you know the agent? So the agent went the staff, the BOP staff, went, you know, and the feds, they, they communicate by emails. You can email them. They email you back. She went in there 153 times and emailed R. Kelly's all his correspondence with other women to herself. Wow. Right? To her email. Then she took the emails, right, and gave them to Tasha K. Here go the thing. No, we don't. Listen, hold on. Jesus Christ. Tasha, listen. The feds then took that put it in front of R. Kelly's girlfriend and said, look, he with these other running for him. She was going to see him. This was the women y'all seen in the headlines supporting him. By the time they turned her through coercion, she represented 90% of his conviction. Wow. This is where he got grounds for appeal. Allegedly. They tainted and coerced a witness and never said nothing about it. Now, this is where it's going to get juicy in the other clips. I, another agent heard Tasha K reading the emails and knew you ain't supposed to have them emails. Internal Affairs got involved and then came the warrant. They hit, that, they hit the BOP officer's house, found the laptop, the computer. They found everything. All this is on the Fed side. This same what R. Kelly team had done. It's on the Fed side. So if all this is on the Fed side discovered, why in the f why in the f did they allow that woman to take the stand in trial 
knowing y'all tainted the witness. Right. 2019 Thanks. to 2021. This was finna happen. And y'all watching it. Y'all part of history. Because of what I've been doing, nobody would talk to R. Kelly, give him a voice. Because of what I've been doing, the appeal gonna be forced. And guess who gonna have to get on the stand? With the hundred side of clubhouse. Tasha K. How did you get there? Exactly. Case? So did you before this uh conversation with R. Kelly, you stated you you knew R. Kelly um prior to this conversation you had with him? Right say again, Steven? Or but like what is your relationship with R. Kelly? I mean, you know, I know he is. You know, I know. I just want you to I just want you to answer. We probably met about 14 years ago. Um, you know, he heard I had a platform. Actually, he said the eight, the officers in the prison again told him, if won't nobody talk to you, get the whack. He got a platform, he'll talk to you. And that's how he got to me. Wow, wow, that's what's up. I got like four more parts. One part, if y'all want to go get it, I released part five on No Jumper on Friday. It's at the end of it. So if one of y'all want to go get it, go towards the end and you will hear it. We can play it in here. Because he said he gives everybody the actual case number where people could go look up the actual warrant that was served on the lady's house, police lady's house. Where he gets released on a technicality or he's acting oh, yeah, like def- innocent you know, of the charge? Gonna- no, it's definitely going to be one of those, especially if the girl was 90% of the case. See, I wasn't in the case. No girl <clears throat> that they coerced was 90% of the case. Uh, it's a lot of people um, that have come home on technicalities. You know what I'm saying? You can't break the law to enforce the law. You just can't do it. You know, I'm home right now, not because I didn't do it. It's because they lied in that report or they f***ed up somewhere. I should have been gone. 20, 30 years ago, I should have been gone. You know what I mean? So that's just what it is. Um, like I said, what it, even with his case, and I, I think I talked about it in one of the clips that we listened to. I used to see R. Kelly all the time, bro. We checking into the same hotels. These women, they be right there with their bags chilling. I see R. R. Kelly, what you, what you finna get into? Wag, I'm finna go rest up. We gonna hit the club later. The girls, what y'all gonna do? Are we about to go shopping? Like, ain't like held in the cage. Like, so I'm really tripping. Like, on, you know, a lot of these parents gave consent, whether we like it or not. I'm like, yo, y'all acting like this man had these women holding them against their will. And that ain't what that was. That's what they turned it into. But I think where they get him at is this if you're in Jersey, right? And the legal age of consent is 16, right? And you like, we finna go to the club in New York. And you take this 16 year old and drive over the GW George Washington Bridge and you go into Harlem to a club where the the legal age of consent is 17, technically they can book you. So we ain't gonna, if we ain't mad that they booked him for a technicality, you can't get mad that he might book them back for a technicality. Facts. It is what it is. All right, y'all, I don't know. I mean, I got a daughter in that age range, so. I don't know about technicalities because you cross state lines and all that other. Now, as far as the parental consent, I find that crazy because if they really signed off on that, I don't know what he was paying them or what was going on. So I'm sure a lot more is going to come out as things progress. If we get an update, we'll certainly bring it to you. It's your boy to answer. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And I appreciate all the support, man, over the last year, man. Till next time, we out.